If you've spent any time exploring K-beauty, you've probably already come across an ingredient called PDRN. It is often highlighted in serums and creams that promise repair, hydration, and healthier looking skin. But what exactly is PDRN and does it really live up to the hype? Hi everyone, I'm Dr. Alexandra Brown. I'm a board certified dermatologist. And today I wanna to explain what PDRN is, how it works in skincare, and share a couple of products that I've tried. I've personally tried the Anua and Medicube, but I'm gonna mention several others to kind of help you decide if this ingredient might have place in your routine. So let's get into it. PDRN stands for polydeoxyribonucleotide, which is essentially a chain of DNA fragments. In skincare and medical treatments, it's most commonly extracted from salmon sperm. Why salmon sperm? It's because salmon sperm has been found to be highly biocompatible with human skin. That means that our bodies are most likely to tolerate it well. So how does it really work and why would one ever want to do something like this? PDRN is thought to activate receptors in the skin like the adenosine A2A receptors that help stimulate cell growth and reduce inflammation. This can promote collagen, elastin production, support repair after injury, and improve hydration. That's why in skincare, it's marketed for things like repair, elasticity, calming inflammation, and overall healthier looking skin. PDRN was actually used first in medicine for things like wound healing, burns, and tissue regeneration, and then afterwards it made its way into dermatology clinics and now into K-Beauty skincare products. It's most commonly actually used in in-office injectables and skin boosters in Asia for anti-aging and scar repair. In skincare products, the concentrations are lower, but the same principles apply, making it a really exciting ingredient for things like barrier support and overall skin health. It's important to note that PDRN in serums is relatively new in dermatology, if you will. The PDRN was already being used in medicine for wound healing and tissue repair, and it's also available in dermatology in cosmetic clinics worldwide as injectable skin boosters. So the whole application of PDRN in skincare as a topical is relatively new. In Asia, PDRN is delivered into the dermis or the second layer of the skin through these tiny little micro injections. Some of the benefits one might see with this are things like improved elasticity, smoother texture, some scar remodeling, and faster healing after procedures. This is typically done as series of treatments with minimal downtime. Now you might have heard things like salmon sperm fillers. Some injectables are internationally marketed and nicknamed this salmon sperm fillers because the PDRN inside of these injections is most commonly derived from the salmon sperm DNA. In the US, these products are not FDA cleared yet, but they've generated a lot of buzz in aesthetics. Some clinics do offer PDRN based injectables, definitely off label, citing their popularity in Asia. Being that it's not FDA approved yet, this is not something I offer in my clinic yet. And there's an important distinction here. These are not dermal fillers. While I do injectable fillers all the time, in the traditional sense of fillers, we think about fillers like Restylane, Juvederm, and then your Revance, RHA fillers. These are hyaluronic acid fillers that when injected, they add volume. And some of these are smaller molecules, so they can be injected intradermally to be considered almost like a hydrators, if you will. But the PDRN is very different. These PDRN injections are considered skin boosters, so they're not not just meant to add volume, they're meant to improve the quality of the skin, meant to help repair and hydrate the skin. All right, now that you know all about where PDRN comes from, literally from salmon sperm, what is it intended to do, healing the wound and repairing the skin and hydrating, and then that it's mostly used in Asia as injectable, let's talk about how is this pertinent to you if you're in the US like I am and you want to use this because it does come in skincare. K-Beauty serums and creams are inspired by all these salmon sperm injectable treatments. While the concentration is much lower and results are more subtle compared to the injectable, the marketing focus is very similar. So it's focusing on the repair, barrier support, and healthier looking skin. Let me give you some product recommendations or let's just go over products here. A couple of these I have used myself and I'll give you my opinion on them. The first one here is the Anua PDR and Hyaluronic Acid Capsule 100 Serum. It is this emerald toned, fast absorbing serum, leaves your skin really feeling soft, looking refreshed. It's a very moisturizing serum formulated with PDRN and 11 kinds of hyaluronic acid to help enhance the overall skin texture and deliver that deep moisture to dehydrated skin. It helps maintain the skin's moisture barrier while providing its natural radiance, delivering the long-lasting hydration for healthy and luminous radiant appearance. I think it's very gentle for even the most sensitive skin. It works really good in the morning or in the evening. You want to apply it to clean skin first. 
in the morning follow with your sunscreen, in the evening follow with a moisturizer. The key ingredients are PDRN or the salmon DNA with 100 ppms or parts per million of the actual PDRN itself. It also contains 3% hyaluronic acid and hydrolyzed collagen. I've tried this myself. I do like it a lot. I do think it hydrates. I do need to apply a moisturizer on top of it because I find it just a little bit sticky, but this could be just me. I find a lot of serums to be sticky and every time I apply serum, I tend to apply moisturizer on top and then sunscreen in the morning or at nighttime, just the moisturizer. Let me give you another one I've tried, and that's the MediQ PDR and Pink Peptide Serum. This one contains a little bit more PDR, and it has 10,000 parts per million of the salmon PDR, and making it one of the higher concentration topical PDR and serums. It's really lightweight, it's hydrating, it helps improve that uneven tone and boost elasticity for that firmer, more radiant complexion. It absorbs really fast, it leaves skin plump and luminous. It targets visible signs of aging, like fine lines and loss of resilience. The key ingredients is the salmon PDRN at 10,000 parts per million, five peptide complex, and holy basil leaf extract. I've liked both of the ones I've tried. I might favor the MediCube one a little bit. I find it to be just a little bit more hydrating. As a matter of fact, I have found it to be a little bit too hydrating to do videos like YouTube because I end up being too glowy. So if you're somebody who's extra dry and you want like the best over the counter and you want to try PDRN, I would probably try the MediCube. Now, that being said, let me give you some other brands that I aspire and I would really like to try someday, but I just haven't gotten to them yet. The first one that I would really like to try is the Regeron Turnover Ampule. This was developed by Regeron, which is the same brand known for its injectable PDRN or the skin boosters, widely used in Asia. Its market is containing this CPDRN, which is the brand's proprietary cosmetic grade PDRN. It contains 5,000 parts per million of the actual PDRN itself, and it comes in like this ampule with its really rich consistency. It feels almost more like a treatment rather than a lightweight serum. In addition to the 5,000 parts per million of the PDRN, it also contains adenosine and peptide complex. The next one that looks really exciting to me, and I hope to try it someday, is the Genabel PDRN Rejuvenating Toner. This is more of like a daily use toner designed to prep and hydrate the skin while delivering that PDRN on benefits. It's marketed as a soothing barrier supporting formula, lighter than serums or ampules, so it's really suitable as a first step after cleansing or if you're somebody who likes to layer a lot of skincare. It's intended to improve hydration, calm irritation, and provide that gentle regenerative boost with regular use. It really works well as a companion step before layering higher concentration PDRN products like serums or ampules. The key ingredients are 1000 ppms of PDRN, panthenol, and centella asiatica extract. And and the last one that I found that looks to be interesting to me that I might want to consider trying soon is the VT Cosmetic PDRN 100 Essence. This is a vegan option. It's a little bit different. Um, the VT Cosmetics offers a vegan alternative by using this biomimetic lab synthesized version of PDRN rather than salmon derived DNA. This essence is really lightweight. It's designed more of like a hydration and soothing than an anti-aging. So it's appealing to younger or vegan conscious users. It's focused on hydration, calming, and barrier reinforcement. It's really lightweight, essence textured, that's gonna layer really easy. So if you're somebody who's maybe younger and you want something lightweight, but you like to layer things, this would be a good one. It is best for that sensitive, irritated, or like really early aging skin. It's it's not so much for like your 40s and up advanced repair needed type of thing. The key ingredients here are the vegan or synthetic PDRN, the panthenol, and centella asiatica extract. That's all I've got for you today, guys. PDRN has its roots in medicine and injectables, but in skincare, it's all about supporting repair, hydration, and healthier looking skin. If you're curious, it can be a really good addition to routine focused on calming and restoring. You're going to want to use this on clean skin prior to our actives, or maybe even just on a night off when you're trying to give your skin the biggest hydration, the biggest boost with no actives. Let me know in the comments if you've tried PDRN yet or if you have your favorite brand. If you have other topic ideas, make sure you comment below. Or if you think we need to dive into specific ingredients, um, that has been something that I've been considering about making videos about. Comment below what ingredient you want me to talk about. I have already mentioned peptides. If you haven't seen, make sure you check out my peptide video. I'll go ahead and link that below as well. But we can talk about retinols, exfoliating acids, as like semi the list goes on so if you have a video idea or if you have an active ingredient or any ingredient idea let me know below what you want to see videos about for shorter more fun content make sure you look for me on instagram at tiktok at dr alexandra brown thank you so much for watching i'll see you next time